There you go, guys. Dead are here. It's uh, what, six, nearly seven o'clock at night, so it's dark out there. Okay. And uh, yeah, I had to get these ready for tomorrow. There's some posts here for uh, the job I'm doing at Maruka, the Maruka job. And uh, yeah, uh, because it's cold, it's damp, and these steels have been wet, and these posts have been wet. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, hitting them with a coat of Penetrol. So I've got the rag, of course I'm on the rag, and then rub it over after I've dried the post. So we get the Penetrol on there, and I've also added 10% Penetrol to this mix of two pack epoxy. I haven't done that before, so I'm still waiting to see what happens. It's a bit bubbly, but yeah, it's doing okay. We'll see how it works tomorrow once, once the paint's dry. But anyway, that's what I'm doing, and yeah, get it all over myself, of course, Penetrol. But uh, this is what we're doing for, for the job over at Maruka. I've already painted the others, and the others, because they were cold and damp uh, when I painted them yesterday afternoon. Uh, the paint didn't adhere the way I wanted it to. It's actually a bit loose. We'll see how it goes when it uh, goes in the concrete tomorrow. Whether I have to peel it down to the concrete and repaint it, we'll find out tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's only because it was damp and cold. Uh, it just made it very difficult for the paint to adhere to the steel. So that's what we're doing. There you go. And I'm dipping a little bit in, in the paint every time, so I'll get more paint on each side. I don't try and spread it from, with one roller. I'm not trying to spread the paint. I'm not trying to just paint it grey. I'm trying to protect it by putting a reasonable coat of uh, two-pack epoxy on this piece of steel. Because the whole idea is, of course, to protect the steel. We're in my little carport at the moment. Where's the end of it? There it is. It's the only place I've got we moved in here back in December and I haven't had a chance to do anything here yet. My mate Trevor does look after the machinery, the lawnmowers and the leads and all the electrical equipment as it breaks down. He tries to repair the best he can. If it can't be repaired of course we replace it. But yeah, it's the only place I've got that's dry at the moment that I can do these posts because we didn't get home till late this arby for 4 30 it was really going dark because of the cloud it is winter middle of winter and yeah the sun goes down at five o'clock but that one's done i've already got four over there done and that's it that's my quick one i'll catch you guys later i'll show you some more tomorrow when we start putting them in the concrete see ya bye